had on my own stream. That's not good. Hello there. I have just finished the very first live stream on this channel and there will be a brand new one next week. I'll aim to every Monday morning here in the UK about 10, 11 a.m. UK time. Be going live on the channel just to talk about Lego. It's a nice break after the weekend because I tend not to record any content and also gives me a chance to sit down and talk with some of you. I'm aware it's a funny period to be going live because some of you will be getting ready for work, for school, and some of you will be drifting off to sleep, especially those over in America. But it's the best time for me right now, so hopefully I can work on that for the future. But what you're about to see is some highlights of the best parts from the stream, both interactions and random conversations that have been started. So I hope you enjoy the video. I can see a few of you popping up in the chat. Hello, hello. I am basically going to talk about a few things as I break down my sets. I am using an old webcam. I was trying to stream off my phone and I think it came up as a short, one of the short lives, which could be something I do in the future, but I'd rather it be a bit horizontal. But before I get into that, we do have a brand new member. KK has joined. I printed a red tile because I completely used all of my blue filament. I completely forgot that I was trying to keep these all blue. So any members from now on will get a red tile. I do wanna pick up the set for this at some point. The only reason I'm not doing it now is because it's a Lego exclusive. It's not going to go on. So I don't see this going on sale even over Christmas. I'm actually putting this away for May. I'm going to add this to my May order. Hopefully buy enough Lego to get a gift with purchase. I'm interested in what they do for the May 4th promo. We'll talk about that as I'm breaking this down. So the May 4th promo is going to be an interesting one. But we got uh, Brew's Kitchen in 2022. Last year, I think we had a bit of a, I don't remember, what did we get last year? Oh, the Death Star, yes. And then this year we got the Droid Carrier, which was, it was a set. It should have been a set. People want the return of minifigures, but I think it would be really nice if we got perhaps a clone set. Actually, this is a good idea. We could get a clone set, batches to Revenge of the Sith, which would be really, really cool. 501st clone troopers or 212 clone troopers or even they could give us some 91st clone troopers and have some sort of battle pack be the promo that way we're getting minifigures we're getting what feels like a lego set but then they can include them um, later on in the year in a different set because having that droid carrier set was really really cool and made so many people spend the threshold because they want a ton of droids. Something like that, the clones being released early with an exclusive commander is really the perfect gift with purchase. And oh, the X-Men mentioned, yes, of course. The Sentinel, I see it being re-released. And the reason I see it being re-released is because that's what they did with the Leviathan from the Avengers Tower. I'm not entirely sure with Marvel. I struggle keeping up with Star Wars, let alone Marvel a lot of the time. The X-Men mansion is more of a city build. It's a bit like the Strange Sanctorum, but even Stranger Sanctorum had that Marvel feel to it. I, I like the mansion. I think I like the mansion mainly for the references and not the actual style of the mansion, because it is a mansion and it does fit in with Lego Cities. I say it fits in with Lego Cities. It would be a pain to place in a Lego City. But the actual X mansion, they've struggled trying to find the balance between a playset and a what we would call in Star Wars UCS sets. It shouldn't have been a play set, but it shouldn't have been a complete back set, I think. And that price is doing it a little dirty. I think the fact that they've sealed up the back is the right thing to do, but I don't think it's for me. But the minifigures, we're looking at Gambit. Cyclops has updated legs. Magneto's got the red suit with the helmet that we used to seeing in the movies compared to the animated show. So they have mixed it up a little bit. Iceman as well is really really cool it was a while ago i made this now but i made a video creating custom x-men and i made gambit cyclops they're minifigures you can make using other parts cyclops of course had to be included because he's a main character i would have liked to seen a few more other ones it's definitely hard to say what lego should and shouldn't do because they're the ones with a budget but i think i'd have taken no leg printing on cyclops i'd have taken rogue 
doesn't need to be in the set. She was in the jet. Same with Magneto, actually, because they've included the X Men ninety seven, which I would argue relates more to the mansion than the movie one. Magneto didn't really need to come in this set. Perhaps we could get him in a set later on, or perhaps Magneto could be in the gift with purchase, and then they've got the figure for later on. Imagine how many more sets we'd get for Marvel and DC if they were counted as separate themes. That is a big problem because superheroes is, and I'd whack Spider-Man in there as well, and sometimes Ninjago, the legacy Ninjago magazine, I think is paired up with the Batman magazine. Batman is still its own theme. Well, DC, Batman, it tends to be more so Batman than DC, which is another issue entirely, but it tends to be Batbike, Batmobile, Batwing, like a Batbow. I don't know the different names of all the different Batmobiles, Batmo boats, Batmo. DC, I think, especially is at the at the worst end of this superheroes theming because there are a ton of different ideas, superhero sets as well that I see make it to the end. Oh, not a ton. Usually it's more Barbie houses and Taylor Swift houses, but there are a few superhero things. I think because of Marvel, because of DC, they take a similar idea and shift it into a theme like Marvel that they know is going to sell a bit more. I think CMF parts in general, that's something with the X-Men ones. So we got a Wolverine in the CMF line. And I, I do agree that Lego shouldn't be re-releasing him, the exact minifigure in any other sets. But it does make it a bit hard when they go all out for a CMF, dual molded legs, printed arms, and then we lose the printed arms, we lose the dual molded legs, and I guess it's a way that Lego can always improve. They go two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one steps back, and it's not true for Lego, it's true for absolutely everything. I do have an idea set actually, which I probably should plug a bit more so when this gets uploaded into highlights i'll probably have a section talking about that because i've completely forgotten about my lego ideas set. i have no idea how that's doing i think the big point for batman should be the characters because it's a lot of crime fighting it's a very you know two mini figures clashing rather than this star wars ship flying through if i was in charge of the batman theme which yeah, I, I don't think I could do as good a job as Lego. Perhaps I could add some colour into the Batman theme or some giant Star Wars rainbow 8080 for the Batman. But the big focus needs to be in the... I just picture in a giant rainbow 8080 being driven by the Joker or something now. The big focus needs to be on the minifigures. It does have to be away from the blacks, the greys and everything else and towards what they can control, I guess... Batman, it, it's getting away from Batman, if that makes sense. We've seen so many Batman minifigures have one set, one set of Batman, and that is it. And I'm going to spend a quick second just talking about how I am sorting out this Lego, because you'll notice that I'm laying it out in different piles. So we've got the one by one snot bricks, we've got these ladder elements, and that's a lot easier for me to then pick up something like the cone pieces, go over to the drawer that they're in, put them in, and sort it that way. I started writing these down, seeing how many product, how many projects I haven't finished that I have started at some point and said, mainly that I said on video that I am going to start. You might realize, I don't know if you can see it, just down here there is, well, not Christoph's this anymore. I've moved the base plates. They are just behind me. I don't think I'll be going ahead with the big Christoph Sis build. Now taking the base plates down because well, it's, it's going to take a lot of pieces and I'm trying to do a few other things in the background and I just don't see myself making a giant mock of anything anytime soon. They can just be different parts of a build arranged on a table with a few minifigures, you know, to add a feel to the scene and more of a model display than a Lego set. Christoph, this is going to be happening. It's not the end of Christophsis, but the giant Christophsis mock that I had in mind isn't going to be happening anymore. We've said about a few shorts. d and I was going to get the d and CMFs as well. I feel like everyone's already done so much for it. I was going to do this whole campaign in the city. A bit hard to do one person. Perhaps that could be a future live stream. That would be a really cool live stream. It's super random, but I like to find Lego pieces or minifigures that you are holding to see how tall you are. 
Oh, that's a good idea. I've seen there was someone on, I think it was Shorts. I don't really use any other platform other than YouTube, which I know is funny to say because I am here mainly on YouTube. I've got my Sigfig in Lego that I've recently upgraded the hair and the head. So it actually does look a little bit like me. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get that on the camera. Okay, it's, it's not focused, but at least the brightness has changed so you could see it a little bit. And this is 145 scale of me because an average minifigure is meant to be 180 centimeters tall, which is roughly six foot. So I think it's close enough to say this is a minifigure scale version of me, which I've never thought of it like that before. So the whole point of this stream was me talking about unfinished projects. And so far, I've had so much more fun talking about the X-Men mansion. I thought it was going to be quite a depressing stream. Oh, yeah, I'm never going to build this. I'm never going to build this. And it's turned out to be a blast. So thank you to everyone who has tuned in. We've also got the Bricklink store as well. There are a few Star Wars minifigures, a few clone troopers up there, a few clone troopers, not, not a load of them. And they're not amazing prices. They're cheaper than the six month average, but they're not as cheap as I like them to be, if I'm honest. And that is just purely because they cost me so much to get in the first place. I've got to make some sort of profit for the store so that I can then use that money we'll go back to Brickling. i got so i got my grievous from the combat speeder but i regret not picking up the grievous the grievous starfighter that came with grievous that i had from the speeder i'm pretty sure it was the identical one and nobi from the mustafar doll and then we had the 212 airborne i i really thought that 212 airborne was going to come in a battle pack and honestly i'm still hoping for it next year but i've got this custom 360 printed minifigure, which is amazing. I mean, the detail on this is crazy. I got this from Filoni Clones. I've done a few videos on it as well. If you search, I think, I think if you search 90 on my channel, it comes up with that video and my Firestar Toys video. One was 90 minutes and the other was 90p. The window as well that came with it is a really good window. I think it's the last time we've got an affordable prequel trilogy window if you stocked up on that set you would be absolutely rolling in it and would probably well i don't think you'd want to get rid of any of grievous's because you could recreate that prequel meme of grievous with like a million lightsabers around that just i saw someone open a clone army customs custom printed stormtrooper kit i think i think it was their commander pox that they did when the gunship came out actually it might have been a while ago but when they opened it and had a look when they put the legs on the torso because they came parted out they broke and i don't know what you do there with an older minifigure you can contact lego and it'd be interesting lego's customer service is amazing i got in contact with someone from lego i think they were dealing with another issue of mine at the, at the time i think it was actually one of the hair pieces from my harry potter sets missing but i got into contact with them and asked just to ask because I have an old 70s spaceman with a faded torso, would there be any way I could get a new torso? And they were like, sure, and just sent me a brand new piece. Oh, Frodo. My Frodo minifigure has a cracked torso. I have not touched this minifigure since I placed it in the city, I'm pretty sure. But the other day I noticed there's a crack right up the left-hand side. So I'm definitely not going to be touching it, or at least not touching that left arm anytime in the near future because it does suck when an old minifigure like that cracks but i wonder if i got into contact with lego i'll probably have to see if i can get a replacement frodo torso but it's awkward because you have to go through the person because the set hasn't been well that's from the gandalf arrive set the one with the horse and the car so that is 10, 15 years old at least. The extent of my bad experiences is not finding the piece I want on the dam station or the picker brick wall, which even then, I, I'd never ask about the picker brick pieces because I know that Lego store employees do have some sort of builds usually at the front of the store and they will take it down if you need the pieces from it. And I, I feel bad asking for those pieces. I worked in a Sainsbury's. I didn't sign an NDA, I'm pretty sure leaving. I'm allowed to talk about my work. Hopefully, don't come for me, Sainsbury's. I worked in a Sainsbury's, which is really nice because there were quite a few Lego deals. And I did get, I think, 
working in Sainsbury's, I think you get like 5% back. This is also something that a load of people ask for Q and A's, but I haven't been asked this about what I did before I was doing Lego on YouTube. Cause I've sort of just pushed myself into full time. I've got a few other things like with Brickable. The Door of the Face diorama is definitely one I'm gonna revisit because that was so fun with the door mechanism and Maul's lightsaber in his left hand. When I was filming the gonk video, I had Maul's saber in his right hand. And there's actually a deleted clip from that of me taking it from, I switched it into his left hand because it, it just looks a bit better. And then when I was recording the video, I moved it from his left hand into the right hand of the gonk. And then I realized that it technically goes in his left hand and being left hand, well, ambidextrous myself, but I, I would class myself, if anything, as a left-handed person. I've just seen Juicy Cheese's comment on thrift stores. And there's a store that I passed when I went to South End purely to record the video of picking up a magazine because none of the stores near me had it. I saw a store, can't remember the name of it, but I saw a store and they have Lego. They have a big Lego sign in the window and I'm, I might go visit them and see what they've got in store. I had a little look online. It doesn't look like anything special. It's nothing that I'm rushing to get. And the images are a bit old. So I don't know if they're freshly retired sets, if they have any old sets. It will be interesting to see if they have any secondhand sets that people may have donated because they do look like a really cool toy store. They also have a ton of Funkos. And if you aren't aware, I do have, oh, you can't see it on the stream, but this little square of the unit here has all my favorite Funkos. Yeah, this stream has been really cool for the first one. I'm definitely gonna come back next week. And again, hopefully we can get a few more sets. I was gonna break down this flower gift we purchased here. I actually really quite like it. Having it in the background and having it for the thumbnail as well. It does look really cool. And I've noticed it's the same size as the members board. Perhaps we can add a little flower pot for the members. I'll tell you what, we could just take the whole trellis bit off the back, the little grate on the back here, remove that, add the whiteboard for the members, because I think it's I think it's the same size. It actually fits perfectly on top. That would be really cool. We can add the members board onto the trellis. Again, memberships are one pound base membership. You get access to the Discord where we have a few conversations. We talk about leaks, exclusive behind the scene videos. There'll be another one coming out soon. I'm gonna work on that. Also, early projects. There are images on YouTube of a 3D printed project that I'm hoping to show off in probably about six weeks time, six to eight weeks time here on the channel. So if you wanna get a look at that early, definitely consider becoming a member. Yeah, it looks like we're mostly left-handed in the stream, which is nice to see. Perhaps we can have a left-handed stream at some point. No, I'm not gonna block out anyone else, but get to drop a like on this video. And I think we'll wrap up the stream as I do every video. May the bricks be with you always.